Hey everybody, we are in our last day of hope and I hope this is gonna be an encouragement to you. My name is Trent Jenkins, uh, one of our pastors here at North Coast Church and I love this anticipation of the Christmas season. Uh, I love all of the different things that we get to anticipate and this element of hope uh, that we get to have this hope in Christ and where it comes from. And today I want us to focus in really on that birth of Christ and this hope that was being provided. And I think about the Christmas story and how these magi, these wise men, were looking in anticipation to Christ coming. How did that happen that they just happened to see a star? They didn't just happen to see a star, they were looking for a star. They were looking for signs that pointed towards his birth. You see, they were looking through the, the old scrolls, or today we call them scriptures, of Isaiah and Micah and the prophecies that were foretold that this baby would come from a virgin birth, that would come from Bethlehem. And all of these different signs that were pointing towards him. You see, they were looking and waiting in anticipation. They were looking for him. They didn't just stumble upon him. And I wonder today in the midst of our own lives, are we looking for Jesus and this hope that he can provide or are we just stumbling upon it? I think if we actually look for Jesus more in our lives, we'll see him way more active than we actually think he might be. I love this kind of untold story oftentimes in the Gospel of Luke. Jesus has now been born and he's being brought to the temple. And this is what it says. It says that there was this man in Jerusalem called Simeon who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child, Jesus, to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace. Basically, I'm okay to die now. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all nations, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. This man, Simeon, you see, he was waiting in anticipation for the help to come for Israel. This was something that was promised to him by the Holy Spirit, and he was waiting for what it was that God had promised. I wonder how often we're waiting for what it is that God has promised us. Or are we waiting for help from some other person? And the problems and distress in our lives, are we looking towards Jesus? You see, Simeon could have been waiting for the hope of the political officials. He could have been waiting for the hope of Rome to leave. leave. He could have been waiting for the hope for other circumstances, but he was placing his hope. He was all in on Jesus and this coming Messiah. I wonder where I am placing my hope today, maybe where you're placing your hope. Are you placing your hope on the next thing to be able to come around to help us in our finances, uh, on hopefully we get a Christmas bonus? Are we placing our hope on somebody else correcting somebody that's in our life that's causing distress? Are we hoping that maybe our teachers help fix our kids? Or are we actually hoping and waiting on Jesus and saying, God, I'm looking towards you. I'm waiting in anticipation to see you act in my life. God, how is it that maybe you wanna use me today? You've given me hope and I wanna place my hope in you. I wanna encourage you during this Christmas season that as you walk through the stores, as you walk through the hallways of your office space, that you look towards hope in Jesus and the hope that he's given you, that you might be able to put your hope in him, that he might be able to use you in some incredible way during this Christmas season. Place your hope in him. He will never fail you, he will never leave you, and he will not break his promises. Isaiah and Michael were written 700 years before the coming of Christ. The promises and truths that were told to them then were true to the Magi as they looked for Jesus, and now as we continue to look for Jesus and his coming return, we have hope in him. Let's place our hope in him and live it out this Christmas season. Have a great day, everybody.